ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, VJLZ32 proudly presents another edition of What's On Deck. Your weekly look at what is new and upcoming in the world of playing cards. And I got a fair amount of new stuff to talk about on Kickstarter, some stuff outside of Kickstarter, and some upcoming stuff. So let's get into it, and I'll try to keep this, I'll try to get through as quickly as I can. Because I know my videos tend to be kind of long for What's On Deck, and I apologize. So let's start off with Kickstarter. First of all, we got the Burger Point Cards from Federico Point Cards, which I think I mentioned last week. I'm not a huge fan. I like that all four suits are, you know, a different part of the hamburger, and the back design is the bun and everything. Uh, you know, I like the tuck case, how it's put together to look like a hamburger, but the court cards really don't do anything for me, and are kind of repetitive and... I don't know. Not a huge fan. But it is 68% funded, 16 years to go, so it is a good chance it will fund. We got a new one from Collectible Point Guards. It's the Bicycle Human Evolution Point Guards. Now, there's a theme that hasn't been done. <laughs> it's 40% funded, 25 days to go. And I don't know. I'm not entirely feeling it myself. It's not bad. It's an interesting theme. Like I said, it hasn't been done before, so that's a bonus. Um. Each court card has like a different phase of the human evolution from like monkey to curds with the species name. I don't know if anyone can actually pronounce those names. I'll try eventually if I get the deck. But it's um it's pretty interesting. Uh the artwork is pretty decent on the court cards. And the pips on the number cards you can see right there, they kinda of look <laughs> Um, like 8-bit pips or something like that, I don't know, I'm not feeling them too much, but at least they're custom. And there's all sorts of information here on the different bases, and I guess the pips, oh, I see there's DNA molecules in there, that's kind of an interesting idea. Pips, designers vibrate as nature or life is, filled with microscopic molecules bouncing on it, that's kind of interesting. At least they put some, you know, thought into the pips and into the cards. Back design is a one-way back design featuring Africa and what's in the Middle East and a cycle of evolution. And I see there's some DNA along the sides and molecules and whatnot. I mean, it's not bad. It is a one-way back design. And I like the court cards. Uh, sorry, the jokers are like okay, a modified... <laughs> Uh, bicycle type joker of the uh, apes and whatnot on uh, bicycles. Whether or not it funds, we'll see. It's still got lots of ties, so there's good chance it'll fund. Speaking of collectible point guards, the bicycle four season spring edition is 77 percent funded 10 days ago. Looking like it's gonna make it. Then we got the golden age point guards by Agitcom. It's funded 20. Six days to go. This one is not bad. Looking at by uh, Sviatoslav Paschuk. I think he's designed some other deck before. Um, the artwork is very nice, as you can see. Reprinted by Noor Arts. Nice tough case. Nice face, it's really big index. It's nice back design, very vintage or classic looking, I guess, if you will. Joker is pretty, uh, pretty cool. And uh, the face is just very nice, very old school European style. They even tell you who they are in them. Although I can't really read that font from these pictures. But it's very nice. I like it. My problem is, I don't know whether or not to trust the creators, because there's also a winter edition apparently, which is a stretch goal at $7,000, which is going to hit right away. Now, the reason why I don't really know if I could trust the creator is, if you look at the project, uh, the page here, they've had a few other projects before, Tank Masters decks. Hipsteria decks, 
and most recently the Golden Age, and they've all been cancelled. None of them have been funded or produced. Everything has been cancelled. How can you trust someone who has not seen a project through all the way? You know, it's hard for me. You know, everything's been cancelled. I don't remember if the Hipsteria actually funded or not. Tank Masters, I don't. Might have funded. Find out. Um, this one not only made halfway. And that might have been part of the reason this one wasn't even close. But probably the reason why they cancelled, so you know, to be fair, they had valid reasons for canceling. Now was because it wasn't gonna make it. The reason why they cancelled the original launch of the Golden Age deck is because apparently they launched it accidentally. Um so I mean it's worth taking out. I do think it's pretty nice. The art is very nicely done. Next up, we got Freedom Point Guards by Brian Naratasai. This one is 47% funded, it's 31 days old. Lots of time to go, but still has not funded, I think. I've looked at this one before. Um, not a fan of those faces whatsoever. They're horrible. Uh, there's just nothing there. It's a PLD. The Ace of Spades looks like it's missing something and indexes are really small and there's not a thing in it that's for sure oops oh what the hell happened there but yeah i mentioned that one before crystal s playing cards by santa one Nidic gibson i meant, mentioned before is all 59 percent funded 21 days to go there's a chance that one will fund still element playing cards by revolution workshop is 67 percent funded 11 days to go Good chance that one will get funded. Dream, second edition, V2 by Card Experiment is funded, 21 hours to go. Go Cards by Colts and Sock is funded, 21 days to go. Opera, Coin Cards by Mikel Spatola is 23% funded, 10 days to go. I do not see it happening. Um, Acer, Foil Tuck Point Cards by Doug Fry, I think I mentioned last week, is funded, 18 days to go. It's Essentially a tuck swap with foil tuck cases, which last I checked is against Kickstarter rules. But whatever. Kickstarter doesn't care. I'm not gonna hold it against creators too much. Uh Flight Deck 1933 edition by Paul Roman Martinez. 45% funded, 9 days to go. I'm not thinking it's gonna make it this at this rate, but hopefully it does. I do recommend checking it out. I really I'm a big fan of the flight decks. Uh, I got the original, of course, and I'm looking forward to this one, but I'm not sure it's going to make it at this rate, but let's get it there. We might have a relaunch in plan. And then we got, again, from my Greek dumb, Iota Phi Feta, let me have this on deck. 1% from the 26 days to go. I don't know how many attempts they're going to do before they finally get it through the Thick skulls that nobody is interested in their ideas. It's a limited appeal because it's, by, it's for fraternities or sororities. The back design is not good. It's a one-way back design. The colors are absolutely atrocious, the browns and the yellows. They just don't look good, especially on that artwork, which looks like it's been... The artwork, the images on the court cards, they look like they've had the air sucked out of them. They look really small and like they should be bigger. Justin Pips, that's, I mean, they're not great. I, I don't know why, uh, like this is like the fourth attempt now for a deck. And people just are interested. And it's not going to happen again. I don't see it happening. Salutation point guards by David Stacker up, who's so much in the last week, 17% funded, 14 days to go. My only criticism of that one is that I don't see why we need a bordered and an unbordered version. It just seems like it's adding a lot of extra expense for a second deck that's not really needed. You said it's gone with uh, a borderless design, or one or the other, not both. And it's hurting him for funding and whatnot, and I don't see it happening. Next up, we got Double A Poker Point Cards by D. Rodriguez, 1% funded, UNO, <laughs> 26 days to go, I don't think it's going to happen, it's a typography deck, as you can see, a 
And why the hell is this an ace of hearts and a two of spades? Two of, two of spikes? What the hell is a spike? It's a spade, idiot. <laughs> um, so it seems like every card is got two values to it. For some reason, they're calling spades spikes. Who the hell calls it spikes? The back design is horrible. It's just writing on it. It's, there's nothing to it. And basically, they're saying it's two decks in one. Okay. Each card has a different value. Uh, you, you can see it. it's half and half. It's like gaff cards. We put it by USB-C. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. It's way too high of a goal, and nobody is interested in that. And it's not very usable for anything. Moderate Morsips stack by Bioworthy is 30% funded 13 days ago. Don't think it's going to happen at this rate. But it is what it is. It's the Part of the problem is a lot of people on Kickstarter who back Kickstarter point guard projects are looking for decks that have nice artwork effort and thought put into them and all we get on this deck is pictures They're probably from Google or whatever and put onto the backs and faces of the cards there's no not a whole lot of effort there's no cre you know artistic creativity or anything like that there's no artwork it's just pictures that's not what most collectors are looking for unfortunately if it was a deck similar to Jackson Robinson's Army deck that he did like a year and a half ago or whatever, two years ago. That would be a different scenario. But this has a limited appeal, I think, as you can see by the funding. And I don't think it's going to make it. Olympus playing cards by Maria is only percent funded seven days to go. Don't see it happening. There's much better Greek themed decks out there that I encourage you to check out. Like Steve Mitty deck, um, the Olympias. And also the Fall of Tory deck, which I don't even know if you can get anymore. Then there's a crazy deck by Organix, which is 40% funded, 15 days to go. Doesn't seem like too many people are feeling this deck and the artwork is pretty crazy. And just a lot of copy and pasting and whatnot. Most people, you know, will criticize people like Murr67 or other creators for doing this. But this one is by Natalia Silva, so I guess it gets a buy, <laughs> if you will. Uh, it gets a pass, but... um. I guess the Fusi is. I guess this is a new company brand or whatever, Organics, that he's trying. Although, why is he running a project under Luis Silva, whoever that is, I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, it's it's an okay deck if you want to check it out, by all means. Then we got Creatures Deck of Cards by Rana Mahmoud, 10% funded, 20 days to go. Not feeling it's going to happen. At this rate, not a chance, not with the 10,000 euro goal. And actually, I've probably met to this one already. Without a doubt, I did, so let's move on. Then we got playing the game of Holy Cheesecake Pinup Gallon Clean Card Deck. By Jim Ballant. It's funded, 18 days to go. I don't see the appeal. I guess she's got a lot of a lot of appeal. I think I mentioned that one last week again. It's just not interesting to me. Then we got this is an interesting one. Federal 52 second edition by Jackson Robinson. Funded 11 days to go. This is actually something I've been anticipating for quite some time now. Surprised it didn't come sooner. Um It's funded, it's really nice, however, a little disappointing, I will say. Because, and I like the artwork and whatnot, but, and that, there's a tough case, is that that's a letter pressed at this and very limited, obviously. He wants to make something that's, it's $72 for a letter press deck. Are you fucking kidding me? There is no way a deck that comes in a somewhat special tough case with Gilded Edges is worth $72. That's ridiculous. And what's this letterpress standard edition? 
a second edition. So he's made a second edition now, and he's charging even more money for it. I, I'm confused. There's only 200 being produced. Um, it's exactly the same as the other deck, except that it's got four men on the top case. Um, it, it's gilded, and it's got letter pressing, and I don't know. I mean, it's just a different tuck case. I don't think a tuck swap is worth, like, four times the cost of the original deck, the standard deck, which is $14, by the way, for one deck, which is a good price. But what's disappointing to me is that, look at the faces and whatnot, it's basically, you know, been there, done that. Jackson Robinson, uh, to me, when I look at this, it feels like he's run out of ideas. He's going back to an old friend. Going back to where he started, to his roots, and he hasn't even done much. It's it, from what I saw. Um, this is not going to be delivered until February of next year. It's not going to take that long to get these produced if the artwork is done. Basically, here we go. It says that this second edition is a hybrid of both the original Federal 52 court cards and artwork that was featured in the gold certificate and silver certificate decks and the artwork of the Federal Reserve Note deck. So basically, he's taken artistic elements of various different federal 52 decks and combine them into a new deck of cards. That seems like recycling to me and it seems like not, you know, it obviously it's not the same effort he put into the original projects which is what made them pretty cool and unique. I mean they're still very nice. I'm still interested in getting them. Still waiting for that Canadian deck by the way Mr. Robinson. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah it's pretty nice nonetheless. Moving along here, we got the name of wind, the name of the wind art deck by uh, Eloden Enterprises. It's extremely well funded, as you can see, over two hundred thousand dollars, twenty six days to go. I don't know how this is so popular, how this book is so popular, the uh, name of the name of the wind, how the decks are so popular, but <laughs> they're doing extremely well, even better than the uh, previous name of the wind decks by. Albino Dragon. The artwork is very nice, as you can see, very nicely illustrated. And there's a couple different decks. There's the Sealess deck and the alternate deck. It's the red deck. And there is, till you see some of the artwork for the Sellers deck. Sela, Sela. <laughs> um, and the back design, apparently. And then here's the alternate deck. It's got different faces. Same back design, but different faces. And also the aces and whatnot, have, and the, the, the number cards have colored backgrounds as you can see as opposed to these ones and then there is there's more there's the Chandrian collection the Chandrian deck and the alternate deck which is Kickstarter exclusive it's a different back design and color from the other ones as you can see though I don't know why they have a black border when the faces aren't black and you can see it's basically the same faces as the other two decks Or similar anyways and yeah it's pretty nice overall though but man I just don't know how they have so much support and it's actually very rare nowadays that you get projects that are over hundred thousand dollars for playing cards so that's massive um moving along here I'm trying to think if there's anything else On Kickstarter. Mm. 
Mm, that's just the Kickstarter. Let's move on here. To let's check out United Cars very quickly. There's a few things to talk about here. Including some that I might have missed last week. Sorry. <laughs> um. Okay. Not talking about that. Not about that. Doesn't talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about that. Okay. Uh, that's a good start. So there's this one, the Ouroboros Second Edition by Empire Arts. They previously did another version before, after a couple of attempts, and then cancelled. The reason being that there is artwork in the court cards that is stolen from Lorenzo Gaziotti's decks. Like this, I believe it's Jack of Spades. And some of the other artwork is from Jackson Bob, or sorry, from Lorenzo Gaziotti's decks, from a couple of his decks, and possibly from other people's decks as well. And it's not the first time they've done this. I remember one of the earlier versions, it might have been the Arbors, it might have been a different deck. They actually used the court cards from the White Knuckles decks. Note to the creator of these decks, to Empire Arts, you cannot simply Google images and put them on a deck of cards. Put some effort into it. Create your own artwork. If you can't do that, move on. Don't steal other people's artworks. It's bullshit. But they uh, canceled. I guess they will relaunch in the future. Then there's this. A DOTA Dota 2 playing cards from ValveStore.com. I guess it's ValveStore.com. ValveStore.WeLoveFind.com. Very nice artwork, as you can see, printed by USBC apparently. Really nicely done. I could see that they, they kind of have the body of a USBC court card, but they've, it's like it's mutated. <laughs> uh, and each suit has its own unique color. I like that. And they are 8 bucks seats plus shipping. Pretty reasonable. Here you can kind of see a black design. Pretty nice. And the Jokers as well. So yeah, it's a pretty cool deck. And definitely worth checking out. Next up, Radia. This is the successor to Aura by Encoded coming October apparently. Actually, it's going to be released at the 52 plus Joker convention in October. And then it'll come out on his website after that, I'm sure. It is going to be purple and gold. Nice new back design. Look forward to checking that one out. Then we got this new deck by Bokobo. It's called the Rumpus Space. It's another cardistry deck. It's a combination of the cardistry decks and the space theme decks, as you can see. And, um, it's an interesting back design. The faces are also interesting because they got. Roman numerals for the indexes as opposed to the standard numbers, which is kind of interesting. I'm kind of, I kind of like that idea. And uh, they got these nice little elements on the side to remind me of the another cardistry deck. <laughs> um, they're available in Singapore at the moment, and they in China, I should say. But I'm sure they will be available elsewhere in the near future. And then there's this, the Wild West playing cards, like jam packed cards. Going to be relaunching soon. This time it's going to be bicycle branded, USBC produced, um, as opposed to last time, which was. I don't even remember who was going to produce it. Uh, it's very nice. It looks like you've redone the Aces. I like it. Look forward to checking it out when it comes out again. And then there is also coming soon. A second edition of the Jasper's deck, called the Primeval Edition, launched in Singapore on August 26th and internationally on September 2nd. It's got a blue color scheme to it, as you can see. And then, huh, 
I didn't see this when I searched for playing cards. But this is, and I probably mentioned it before, maybe not. It's a red edition of the Chrome Kings from DeVoe from Hand Lords. Really low goal, only a thousand dollars, which obviously surpassed that. Um, I mean, I kind of like the color on the bad design, but the faces I've not been a big fan of. In the previous version, and I'm not sure I'm going to get this version, it's the same faces, just a different color back design. And, yeah. By the way, in my review, I had a lot of people that were whining about my, uh, about my criticisms and whatnot. But you know what? I'm entitled to an opinion. It's called a review. It's my review. You go watch, you go see different reviews from different people that have different opinions. So, don't like it. Bye bye. Then there's this new Aristocrat Limited Edition. I might have mentioned it last week. I don't remember. This is a black Aristocrat from PlainCards.net. Available on their website. Decent prices. Less than five dollars if you buy a brick. Um, this is standard Aristocrat with black backs. I like it though. But I don't think mine's shipped yet for some reason. Don't know what's up with that. And Bruce here mentioned the luck, so there's this. This is the Bicycle Ombre Edged Magic Live 2017 deck, 2500 produced. Um, available at the Magic Live convention. There it is. They've kind of taken the idea from the um, from the Cuttable Cards deck and kind of modified it a little bit. 25 bucks each. <laughs> um, Apparently, there you go, very nice, interesting, colorful edge, it's a one-way back design, and side design with red and blue on the back, as you can see. Apparently, these will be available at Hocus Pocus. They will be available from Hocus Pocus and other shops in the near future, in the next couple of weeks, so... Keep your eye out for that. I guess the chicken's deck uh, funded. <laughs> there are a few I didn't notice. On Kickstarter, oops. So let's see. There's also second edition of the Brooklyn Point Card Company deck in blue, which launched. I don't remember when. <laughs> then there's this. Uh, I mentioned these ones before. The horrible bicycle wind-up deck. This is available from Point Cards deck right now, and also from JP Games. It's a very nice. Deck, I might have, I think I forgot to mention it before. Or maybe I did mention it, but very nice artwork on the faces. These are by Spade and Company, who previously did the Bicycle 100 Ducks on Kickstarter about two years ago. Excuse me, I apologize. Uh, very nice artwork on the faces and the court cards and the aces. The back design is really simple. It's all about wind-up toys, and each suit has its own unique theme. One suit is uh, one suit is like vehicles, another suit is planes, uh, etc. etc. Uh, I saw the information somewhere but I don't know where. Ah, there you go. Aces have amusement park rides. Kings have racing toys. Oh, God's sakes, come on. Queens have animal toys and the Jacks have spaceship toys. So it's very it's, it's not by suit, it's by uh suit actually would have made it uh would have been a good idea, but that's kind of interesting as well. But very nice, I see USB produced. 
Jim Baldock, I mentioned, also, it looks like it was uh, funded successfully. Not a huge fan. The Odyssey Borel deck. I didn't see this one, but I mentioned it before. It's a new version of the Odyssey decks, except that uh, by Sergio Roca, except that it's got like nothing on it except for a stripe down the middle. I'm not a fan. But it's funded, obviously. And then this is coming in September from Randy Butterfield, but that card is the Oculus deck. Very interesting. The faces, mm, not so much. Reminds me a little bit of the, uh, uh, the Bomber decks from Bomb Magic. The faces, anyways. Bat design, borderless. It's a courtesy themed deck. He's got a couple more decks coming as well in October, but I don't see them listed here. There's the blue Brooklyn deck. Apparently they made the markings better as well. So let's take a look at a few more things very quickly. See if there's anything else worth mentioning. Well, there is a couple of things. Uh, I see the that Death Guy Paradise Edition is available on most subs now. Previously, it was available on the that Death Guy website for the last year or so. It's finally available elsewhere. It's an American sign language. I don't know how to do that. And there's a couple jokers and special funny magic tricks that you can use. There you go. Very interesting. I don't remember if the artwork is the same as the original edition. The original one was in blue. You can see the review on my channel. And I got this one coming too. Available collectible point cards that come and also use the code VDSA free to save 10% your order. They also got the original courtesy decks, but those ones not appealing to me because they got no faces. It's just a double backer with two different bad designs. How inventive. Then there's these pure courtesy decks. There's blue and red apparently, but apparently they're out of stock on collectible playing cards and very fluorescent. Not a fan. There you see a pink one and a blue one, or red and blue. Mm, not a fan. Not getting them myself. I don't see anything appealing. The back designs, I. Is that the back design? It's just pure cardistry on it? What's with all these decks coming out that have writing on the back design instead of an actual back design? That's lame and lazy. And I'm creative. Let me see something here. Focus, focus. I am a fan. And by the way, that didn't work out. <laughs> Um, by the way, I looked at that, uh, Hocus Pocus sells a lot of stuff that they get from private estates, because yesterday, I think it was, I noticed, I happened to check out the website, and I noticed that they had... Um, Some decks which are now sold out, uh, and what's the name I can't recall. <laughs> um, oh, yes, there's a Harry Blackstone decks, they have like half a dozen at least when I checked out. I managed to pick one up, very happy about that. It's a vintage deck from the 90s or the 80s, I think, maybe even older than that. USP produced, I believe. And uh, it's Harry Blackstone, uh, a legendary magician. Uh, they are available on eBay if you're lucky and whatnot, and possibly elsewhere, but they are a little hard to find. So it was really nice to come across that and be able to pick that up. There is a classic edition of the Death Guy deck, in case you're wondering. You can get both of them there, and then the pure courtesy decks, and yeah. So that is that. I think that's all I've got. Um, there we 
with me a second. Oh, I'm missing something else. I'll probably pick up myself. The Jane Austen deck, by the way, funded, if anyone's wondering. Well, this is what I want to mention here. Um, the. Why is this not working? Uh, let's try my luck. Play again while we're at here. Feel free to email me. <laughs> no spam. And we get 7% off. Woo! I'll take that for sure. Better than nothing. And what I wanted to show you was that they got the there's two different Martin decks which they produced and are now available on their website. Very nice. Designed by Nikolai Arrow. Definitely worth checking out. And see if there's anything else to check out while it's rarepointcards.com by the way. And you get discount codes just by going to the website. <laughs> um Oh, the totem. I mean, it's a there you go. It's a red one and a black one, basically. Very nice looking. They got the Hellions. They got a whole bunch of stuff, as you can see. So that is, I think that's what I've got for this week. <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. Next week with more What's On Deck. See ya. And yeah, let's get to these. Well, I don't even know. I should bother promoting the collectible point cards at com at card uh, discount code which is loses a thirty two, but we'll see. Come on, uh, I want to scan something. I apologize. It's always a pain in the ass to turn this off. Okay, see you next week.